Now before we start, you can technically use a kitten, but it's a lot easier if you use a cat or a hellcat. Also, I recommend having the cat speak amulet on throughout the entire quest for some pretty funny dialogue. To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Next, speak to Gertrude inside a building. Then, depending if you have a Hellcat or not, choose the chat options on screen. Next, drop your cat. Make sure he's following you. And head to the area located here on the map. Enter the sewer. Once in, go ahead and speak to Grimes Quill and Fink's pet. You will now have to catch eight rats with your cat. Go ahead and right click and chase vermin. If you're not sure how much you've caught, you could go ahead and speak to them to make sure and check. But once you've caught all eight, you will get a prompt. Head back to one of the sisters and talk to them. This is a pretty lengthy dialogue. At the end, you should receive a rat pole. Next, make your way to West Ardoon and speak to Jimmy Dazzler, located here on the map. Another pretty lengthy conversation. After said conversation, go ahead and read the note he gives you and choose the first chat option. You will now find yourself in front of a large castle and large garden. Now your job now is to reach to the back of this castle and of course there are several guards here. And to do so you'll have to sneak beside the guards using all kind of objects around the area. Now go ahead and watch where the guards are as I make my dash. This is the important part. Once the guard is in position, go ahead and climb the trellis at the back and you will now appear inside the building. Now just like the outside, avoid the guards. Your task now is to hunt several rats within the building. 
make sure your cat is out and you're wielding the rat pole. First, head to the northwestern area and you will find one rat. Upon successful hunt, you will have an option to add that rat to the pole. This is optional. Next, head to the southeastern room and you will find two rats. In the same room, you will find a ladder. Go ahead and climb down, and you will find two rats. Then you'll find one to your north. Once you've caught the six rats, go ahead and exit the building on the trellis the same way you came in. Instead of being in the garden, you will find yourself with Jimmy Dazzler. Go ahead and speak to him. Next, speak to Hooknose Jack, located here on the map. Head to the southwestern building and climb up the ladder. Once upstairs, go ahead and use your rat poison on the slices of cheese. Then use those poison slices on the rat holes on the wall. There are four of them. Speak to Hooknose Jack once again. And choose a second chat option. Next, speak to the apothecary located here on the map. Choose the fifth chat option.
Before we proceed, if you don't have your raw fish with you, go ahead and bank and withdraw them. This part's important as you may kill your cat and we definitely don't want that. Any raw fish would work just fine. The level of the fish is irrelevant as they all will heal the same. So for that reason, I just took some crawfish. Once prepared, speak to Jack once again. Then head up the ladder once again to the room with all those rats. Once upstairs, go ahead and pick up your cat. and use it on the wall here as I'm showing you on screen. And click yes for both prompts to fight a big rat. Your cat now will start fighting a giant rat. Now, don't worry as this is perfectly fine. Go ahead and heal your cat when you need to by using a fish on the hole as demonstrated here. This will only take a minute. Once the rat is slain, go ahead and call your follower, then speak to Jack once again. Next you'll have to speak to Smoking Joe in Keldegrim, located here on the map. Speak to him and choose the first chat option. Now if you haven't already, go ahead and use your weeds on an empty pot, then light it. Besides dough, you will find a hole. Go ahead and use your pot on that hole. You'll get a small cutscene. After that, make sure your cat speak amulet is on and your cat is following you. Then attempt to use the pot once again. Then speak to Joe for the last time. Now just north of the Port Rim Lodestone, you will find several NPCs. Go ahead and speak to one called The Face. Then speak to one called Felkrash. Then speak to the face once again. You will now have to make your way to the Palmanich Southern Bar. 
located here on the map. Right outside you will find a sneak charmer. Go ahead and withdraw a single coin from your money pouch, then use it on the pot. And choose the chat options on screen. After the first three chat options, your character will walk away. Go ahead and choose a second chat option. Your character will continue walking, then choose the first chat option. You should now receive a snake charm. With that snake charm in your inventory, head back to the NPCs north of the Portsorium Lodestone. Go ahead and stand roughly around the same area as Felcrash. Your task now is to lead the rats away from the area. Go ahead and click on your note, and these are the key you're supposed to play to lead the rats away. I'm going to go ahead and leave this reference here on screen, and I'll also show you what you're supposed to do. Note, the fifth key has that icon on top. Don't forget that. Simply go on page one, reference the picture. All right, click here and do the rest for all of them. Now, of course, when you reach the fifth one, you're going to have to click on this additional icon. Don't forget that part. Once you've done all the pages, go ahead and click play in order to play all eight pages. If done successfully, you should see a short cutscene. After said cutscene, go ahead and speak to Felcrash. And quest complete.